Well, finally today, some of the best stories are the ones that start out one way and then they go in a completely different direction. And our most Buffalo story of the day today is one of those stories. It starts with a guy on a mission to sell books who takes a bit of a detour. In the summer of 2019, I took a road trip to 50 independent bookstores in 50 days, but I wasn't buying books. For that, I used Amazon. I was selling books, promoting my self-published novel. Mason Engel may have originally hit the road as an author trying to sell a book, but he came back a filmmaker invested in trying to save small businesses. My 50-day road trip left me with a very simple question. Why should people shop at an indie bookstore? So he decided to hit the road again on a quest to answer that question and ended up on a harrowing adventure complete with a pandemic plot twist. The whole plan was in place, but of course, many plans were ruined uh, last March. But it also strengthened my resolve to take the trip and to make the film because I knew that Bank would need those funds more than ever. More bookstores would be coming on hard times. More booksellers would have bills they couldn't pay. So it became all the more important for us to figure out how to take the trip, finish, and then release the film uh, and raise money for them. Proceeds from Mason's film, The Books Tour, will benefit the Book Industry Charitable Foundation, or BINK, an organization that helps indie booksellers in times of need. And featured in the film? Jonathan was one of my favorite conversations we had. Buffalo's own Jonathan Welch of the beloved Talking Leaves. We got to hear about the, the literary history of Buffalo. I, I wasn't uh, aware that it, it was somewhat of a, a poetry mecca at a certain time. And, and from there, um, from that foundation, it seems like from talking with Jonathan, that's where the, the roots for Talking Leaves were planted and they were enmeshed in that community from the beginning. Um, that, that enmeshing and that uh, ability to not just keep a pulse on the community, but to be part of it, I think is uh, an independent bookstore's biggest asset. The film is available for pre-order now on thebookstorefilm.com, where you'll also find a bunch of extras. And this is just the beginning for Mason, who says he's planning on turning his experiences into a book and hopefully a more comprehensive docu-series. We have so many shoulds in our lives. And uh, I, with the film, I wanted to give people a want. I wanted to show booksellers in a way that the, the viewer, the potential reader, wouldn't feel like obligated to go to the store. They'd be like, wow, this is a place I want to, to patronize. This is where I want to spend my money. And Mason is sharing more on all this on Instagram at Bookstore Daily. And he's also planning to release his interviews as podcast episodes, including the one with Jonathan Welch from Talking Leads. That is Most Buffalo for today. Thanks so much for being here. Be well, stay well, the end.